Authorities are investigating after several vehicles were stolen from a John Deere dealership. It happened Wednesday at Aaron Brothers John Deere on Cottonwood Road in Urbana. A white 2012 Chevy Silverado with John Deere and the initials AHW on the side, plus a John Deere Gator and utility vehicle were both taken. The vehicles are valued at more than $100,000. If you have any information, contact Champaign County Crime Stoppers. Former Go Governor Jim Egger is a man on a mission. He says more young people should run for elected office. And he brought that message to Millican University in Decatur. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Mark Maxwell is live on campus there. Now, Mark, what else did he have to say? Well, Jennifer, the former two-term governor, Jim Edgar, was here on campus today meeting with students, and he's speaking later at 7 o'clock. But he said running for office himself was the hardest thing he ever did. In fact, he told students that if you run for office and you choose to go that path, you're going to face some of the most intense, uncomfortable scrutiny you could ever imagine. Uh, he also said that women in particular face an unfair standard, sometimes having to face a double standard, or maybe they'll get dismissed as being, quote, too weak or too nasty, in his words, if they don't strike exactly the right tone with voters uh, and with the public. But even after detailing all of those hurdles and struggles, Edgar says the pain of politics is still worth the payoff. You go through a ringer, but you can do so much, so much good. You can have an impact on people's lives. You can make Illinois a better place. Uh, you know, government is most, the purpose of government is to help people who need help. And if government works right, it can do a lot of good. And it only is going to do right if you have good people in it. The former Republican governor says that he does want new blood in office everywhere, and he encouraged young and up-and-comers to consider perhaps running for a local office like the county board. But would this moderate Republican, who won re-election in a mostly Democratic-leaning state, endorse Governor Rauner for re-election this time around? Well, he says no, he won't back Bruce in this bid for re-election in 2018, even after Governor Rauner went out of his way to make that big apology speech last week about the first raucous four years with the budget battle. We'll hear why from Governor Edgar tonight at 6. Jennifer? Yeah, that's got a sting. All right, we'll hear from you tonight at 6. Thank you.